Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss CBSE Grade 9 Physics Syllabus in detail. We will also see the practicals which are included for the academic year 2021. So if you like the videos, share this channel and all the videos with your friends and family and subscribe to this channel. So let's get started. So let's see CBSC grade 9 science course structure for the academic year 2021. As we all know that the evaluation is based on 100 marks which is further divided into two components, annual exam of 80 marks and internal assessment of 20 marks. The annual exam of 80 marks can be divided into three phys uh, subjects, physics, chemistry and biology. Physics carries 27 marks, chemistry carries 23 marks and biology carries 30 marks. The internal assessment is further divided into four sub components if you see the classwork and other work carries the five marks whereas the diverse method of assessments like test project short test carries five marks the practical laboratory work carries five marks and the average of best two of pas that means in a year we conduct three pas and out of that three pas the two PAs, best of two PAs will be converted into five marks. So in this way, the 20 marks of internal assessment will be calculated. So let's see the syllabus of physics. We have five topics in the grade 9th. Motion, force and laws of motion, gravitation, work and energy and sound. Let's see the detailed syllabus of each chapter. So in the chapter of motion, we will study the speed, velocity and acceleration that is uniform and non-uniform motion and how objects travels in a straight line that is motion along a straight line. So you know the basic relation speed is equal to distance by time and again if we have these three quantities we can say if speed is changing then we need to find the acceleration. So the acceleration will define the uniform and non-uniform motion. Then we have in this chapter the SI units and numericals of all these basic quantities. Then we will plot the distance time and velocity time graph. On the basis of these graphs we have three kinematical equations of motion which gives us the relation between initial speed that is u, final speed v, time, acceleration and distance travelled by the object. We will derive these equations on the basis of velocity time graph and a distance time graph. Then we have uniform circular motion and numericals. So the new practice of numericals is very much essential in the subject of physics. The next topic that we will study that, that is force and laws of motion. In the previous class you might have discussed the push or pull is known as force. So here we will elaborate that concept in uh, mathematical form as well as we will see what are balanced and unbalanced force. Then we will see the famous Newton's uh, three laws of motions, law of inertia, law of momentum and law of action, reaction. Then in this chapter we will see some new quantities like momentum, inertia that are associated with every object. So we will see mass and inertia, momentum and the law of conservation of momentum. In this topic we have numericals based on two concepts. One is that is force that is mass into acceleration and second one is law of conservation of momentum. So our third chapter is about the gravitation. In this chapter we will see the Newton's law of gravitation as well as the Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Introduction to the Newton's inverse square law of gravitation. We will also see the mass and weight. How to calculate the weight of the object on the surface of moon. Acceleration due to gravity on the earth's surface that affects the weight of any object that we will discuss. We will also discuss the pressure that is force applied per unit area. Then we will see the buoyancy and Archimedes principle due to which object floats and sinks. We will also calculate the relative density of different substances. Moving to the next topic that is work and energy. We will elaborate the concept of force in this chapter. So we will see work and its mathematical interpretation, different forms of energies, particularly kinetic and potential energy. We will derive their relations also. We will see the law of conservation of energy. And then we will see power and calculating energy consumption. So 
last topic in our syllabus is sound in which we will derive the transverse and longitudinal waves characteristics we will discuss the propagation of sound wave how sound travels and different characteristics like amplitude frequency wavelength as well as the pitch note tone etc we will see the speed of sound in different mediums the important part the application of different uh, sound that is reflection of sound will create three phenomena echo reverberation and its applications the sonar is one extra phenomena that we are going to see the classification of sound on the basis of frequency that is audible infrasonic and ultrasonic in the figure you can see the sound having frequency less than 20 hertz that is audible sound oh sorry the infrasonic sound and the sound having frequency between 20 to 20 thousand hertz that is known as audible sound the sound having frequency greater than 20 thousand hertz that is ultrasonic sound waves so we will see these sound waves in the last chapter that is sound we will see the application of ultrasound particularly the important application sound navigation and ranging that is sonar with the help of which we can see the submarine objects the we can find the distance of submarine objects the last topic in this particular chapter is structure of human ear here we will see just the uh, concepts related with the sound waves how we can hear exactly so that we are going to see in the last portion of the chapter so moving to the practicals in this year we have four practicals and first practical is verification of laws of reflection of sound that is related with the last topic that is sound then we have determination of density of any solid by using spring balance and measuring cylinder we will determine the density of any solid that is related with the chapter gravitation then we will establish the relation between loss in weight of solid with the help of two water tap water and salty water again this is related with the density also as well as archimedes principle related with the gravitation chapter and the last experiment is related with the sound how sound propagates similarly we form we will form one wave and we will see how it will propagate with the help of slinky or any string we will form a wave so these are four practicals for the academic year 2021 of particularly physics subject so if you like this channel if you like the videos you can subscribe and share this particular channel in your friends and family like the videos and stay tuned for further videos so we will start our chapter force with the balanced and unbalanced force so you must read the content from the textbook and then see the video you will definitely be benefited so thanks for watching that's it for today see you in the next video